Sorry, I had a weird thing on my phone there. I thought I was calling someone, but it was like a number I didn't recognize. I have no idea how that happened. It was just sitting here on my lap. All I did was unlock my phone. Okay, he said something about VidComs. Tyrion Kandross wants to talk to me. Hello again, Ryder. Taking an interest in my strike teams. What are they? Assault and extraction squads. When we need the best, I have Apex, combat experts who've signed up to defend us. Since you have a front row view of the cluster, I can give you authority to dispatch them. What situations should they handle? Protecting civilian outposts, holding key positions, or just distracting the kit. Authorization complete. Good luck. Kendra's out. Hmm. So I have a strike team mission. Or a strike team that I can send out. What do you make of the Angara, Doc? Still compiling my first impressions. But even their body language is so... Emotional. I can't wait for my first session with Jar. Try not to scare him away, huh? Yeah, I should probably talk to Lexi. Since I assume we've given her a cat corpse to look at. Now, where was Lexi again? She's going to be this one? Medbay, yep. Strong, honorable survivors. Been a while since I encountered a new friendly species. Last time was the humans. Oh yeah, you lived through first contact with them, didn't you? If I recall, my exact words were, they're bold for being so squishy, do they know they're mostly water? Harsh, don't let Ryder hear you. I'm right here. Ryder, you meet Spender yet? Colonial Affairs, the ass in Assistant Director. Got no idea why Addison keeps him around. Spender lied to the Krogan during the uprising, and he's headed out for cash ever since. He's up to something. I just can't prove it. We should pay him a visit on the Nexus. We can talk more later. Sure. Hey, one last thing. Yeah. Is everyone a kid to you? Ha, huh, when you get to be my age, yeah, pretty much. Getting a lot of side quests to start doing here. Terraforming Atmo processors, gravity wells, life destroying murder bubbles. <laughs> we really had no idea what Helios was about, did we? <laughs> if we knew what it was all about, it wouldn't be an adventure. It would just be moving, and everyone hates moving. Just the packing. Fair enough, I yeah. hate moving. <laughs> Point taken. I'm just saying. I really hope you have a plan, Ryder. The plan's the same. We find a home. Whatever that takes. Keep that drive. Makes me believe we can make it. I mean, we have to make it. The alternative is not even worth thinking about. You probably have work to do. We can chat later. You know where to find me. No one's where they were before. That just confuses me. Well, there's Cora. I swear you weren't there a second ago. That Archon. Arrogant son of a bitch. Maybe that's redundant for a cat. It's damned lucky there was a path through the Scourge right there. Yeah, we can't count on ever being that lucky again. So, what else is new? See you later, Cora. I'll be here. Unless you'll be there. I mean, I got a feeling you're going to be there. Here doesn't seem to be remaining consistent for you. Climb up the ladder, Ryder. Not that hard. I've seen you do it plenty of times.
Oh, there, there they are. Strike team ready for deployment. So we have a stowaway. You mean PB? She's decided to set up in one of the escape pods. You don't need a psychologist to tell you that one's got commitment issues. How do you think the crew is holding up? I'm happy to share what I can without violating patient confidentiality. Anyone in particular? I sort them in their files and my brain by species. How do you think the human crew members are handling things? There's a lot of them. Gil? Gil likes <coughs> as a defensive technique. He'd rather bury himself in the nomad than tackle emotions head on. Suvi okay? Suvi's strong sense of faith keeps her grounded. I'm not spiritual, but there's a beauty in how her mind rationalizes religion and science. How's Liam? A handful. Every time I patch him up, he breaks something new. Liam's we-can't-lose attitude is commendable. But I worry how he'll react when something does go wrong. How's Cora doing? She's processing. Your father was her mentor. She expected to follow in his footsteps. But he gave the role of Pathfinder to you. Just because she trusts his judgment doesn't mean she's not confused. Or hurt. I'd like to check in on the non-human crew. Ask away. Tell me about Vetra. Vetra's used to having someone depend on her. I think that's why she's so resourceful and likes providing for other people. That being said, I think she could use a little me time. How's our Solarian? He's quite the gossip. Tight-lipped about himself, though. Is Drac good? That old bastard's always good. I've never met anyone who can be so stubborn and so appreciative. Could you look out for him, Ryder? Don't worry, Lexi. I'll keep an eye on him. Thank you. And maybe don't mention I asked? Is PB all right? She's avoiding me. Probably thinks I'll poke her with a needle if she gets too close. To be fair, you're always giving me shots. Not in the hallway. Is Jal doing okay? He's adjusting. The rest of us have at least some understanding of each other's cultures. But to Jal, we're all outsiders. It's a lot to take in. I'd say he's doing pretty well. Thanks for the insight. I'll let you get back to it. I'll be here if you need me. Okay, then Liam, you're right here, so I may as well talk to you. One hell of a trip this is turning out to be. Hostiles, ruined worlds, no home in sight. Everyone's getting toasty. There was a two-hour argument yesterday, and no one even knew how it started. That's not good. Luckily, I have the perfect way for people to unwind. Movie night. Oh, movie night's always fun. Taking a breather for a good movie? I could get behind that. Best part is, it doesn't need to be good. Still get mileage out of the bad ones. It's worth it to jumpstart everyone's pioneer spirit and all that. The Tempest database is pretty dry. Could you download a movie library from Nexus Ops to see what I've got to work with? Five time. Thanks. Everyone will appreciate it. That'd be fun. Oh, do I have... No, I don't have points, but... Koro, Jal, and Liam do. Let's see what you got. You have zero points. Why? You have 12 points, though, so I may as well do that. Right, well, we still got these strike teams. That we can do something with. Strike teams can be sent on missions to support the Andromeda Initiative. If they succeed, they'll earn XP and Ryder will gain a reward. If they fail, they'll only earn a small amount of XP and no special reward. Apex is the most elite strike team in the cluster and can handle critical missions. Select a mission and press X to send Apex. Your progress will be automatically saved before a multiplayer is launched. And then you will play the role of an Apex operative in a small squad. Oh. That's interesting. Play Apex missions in multiplayer, either with friends or through public matchmaking. To earn strike team rewards for Ryder and additional bonuses. Huh. 
Read the description for each mission, the time or the time limit to attempt the mission, the rewards for successfully completing the mission, and any other trades or proper. The mission is currently available for your strike team. Select mission with X to send the strike team to check back daily for new available missions. Okay, so that's the difficulty. Okay. A gold difficulty. A bronze difficulty. A silver difficulty. Alright. Anyway, let's travel to this place. Actually, let's maybe talk to my girl. Aya has... We might have a problem. I was running some numbers, mass balances and such. The Tempest is carrying about 70 kilos of extra mass. I think something's aboard that doesn't belong. Is it a problem that we're carrying extra mass? Not mechanically, but, but something heavy and unexplained? That's not good. Our internal sensors aren't getting anything, but they're not as powerful as a Pathfinder's scanner. Can you take a look? All right, I'll look around the ship and see what I can find. All right, so I guess we're scanning for anomalies here. Don't mind me, PB. You're not even here. No extra mass in the airlock. Too bad. It'd be easy to get rid of it. All right. So nothing here. Nothing out of here. I know how to scan highlighted objects. It's not my first rodeo. Something over here, though. There's a room here, right? So, Joel. So? We haven't had a chance to talk alone. You comfortable in here? I took it. It feels strange to stay with the others. They are, you are, aliens. And you're alien to us, so there, we have something in common. Uh, we can look at it as a place to start. Got it. Perhaps then, if we're all aliens, it's about what kind of alien we are. You had no idea about us, but you signed up to help us anyway. Perhaps it had nothing to do with you. Care to elaborate? I do not. How do you know Moshe Sefa? She's our greatest mind on the Remnant. I was his student. You studied the Remnant too? <laughs> A little. I was terrible. I quit. Or she threw me out. One of those. We're still very close. So, is that your rifle? It is now. It's Ket. With my own modifications. I like to tinker, to get my hands on something and take it apart. I like this guy's voice. But I have one request. Please don't take apart my ship. <laughs> You're right. I signed up. Uh, volunteered for this. It's uh, exciting. Glad you're excited. Something unique about you. Uneasy, raw, but somehow profound. Face value? That sounds like a compliment. A nice one. It is. Angara feel deeply. We have <laughs> more trouble hiding our emotions than showing them. I should get back to my work. As if I didn't have enough on my plate? Add deciphering alien psychology. Oh, sheesh. Exactly. See you later. Yeah, I thought this sounds like fun. I thought that was going to be like, hey, this is going to be fun. Good times, man. And then it's like, well, great. Now I have this to deal with. Anyway. I got stuff to scan. Eh, she didn't have any comment about that. 
Don't mind me just scanning your cabin here, man. Oh, hey, Peavy. You again. Want to hear more about my childhood log cabin? You're off the hook, PB. Good luck with your project. Thanks. Don't be a stranger. I won't be. Or I'll try not to be. Um, okay. Uh-oh, seeing something through there. That's gonna be, like, through this door. Ah, there you are. Gotcha. Do I need to get Lexi to do a psych review? <laughs> Maybe. Stop being such a, stop being such a life. sarcastic bitch. Just dealing with some scourge issues. That Archon fella tried to warn you not to joyride into it, but you were just la la la. It was an act first, think later move. I respect it. Well, more like I resemble it. <sighs> hey, you play poker? Come again? Poker. Card game, bluffing, betting. It's an age-old measuring stick of a person's character, fortitude, guts. Used to think maybe it was my calling. Turns out I'm just good at it. Never lost, heads up. We should play sometime. Willing to put your streak on the line? Huh. I'll risk it. Next time we port up and you're in the mood, I'm always in the mood. Anyway. I came into this door, right? And this, yeah, this. All the mass readings in here are normal. Of course they are. Something up? I hope not. No relevant data, but there's a thing right there I can see. Is it downstairs? Uh, of course, it's downstairs. <laughs> I didn't even mean to do that. I legitimately just pressed the wrong button. Got it. Suvi, that extra mass is behind the storage room bulkhead. Behind it? It looks like a construction mech welded right into the hull. Scanning the parts has activated an audio log. I think I know what that's about, Ryder. Come up to the bridge. Okay, I'm away. So, Cal, you know what it is? Those parts you found welded in the storage room. I recognize them. From where? They belong to the ship's lead designer, Lucille Diawara. She broke her back during construction. But Lucille wouldn't abandon her ship. She converted a construction mech into a rig she could wear. She must have welded it into the hull. Her artist's signature. Not even a broken back could stop her dream. Sam, didn't you find an audio log with Lucille's rig? C can you play it? Sam found my construction gear then. Well done. One of you Pathfinders got the Tempest. Mason Barra, Zevin Reka, Matriarch Ishara, Alec Ryder. You were the best of us. Dad's gone. Makes you wonder how many other Pathfinders made it. We'll find out. It's what you do. Take care of my ship and each other. Whatever is in Andromeda, you're the Milky Way to them. We are such stuff as dreams are made on. And our little life is rounded with a sleep. I never thought I'd hear Lucille's voice again. She really cared about the Pathfinders. Enough to give them her rig. For luck. Lucille made it a part of the Tempest. Let's keep it that way. I'll see to it, Ryder. Thanks. Now let's go make her proud. A little bit of frame light lag there. Oh, that's right, I have an email terminal. Have I looked at this yet? Ah, yeah, a trail of hope. I think this is where I'm, that's the quest I'm going on now, right? A trail of hope, I think that's the primary. Is this the planet I was just on, or is this a new one? 
and it's been like three days since the last time I played, so I'm a little rusty on where I left off, but I think this is the same place. The exact same place. This looks incredibly familiar. Yeah, this is incredibly familiar. Oh, this is how I changed squad mates. Okay. Should probably bring Jaw for this one. And maybe, uh, maybe, maybe give PV a run. Changing the nav point for Darpalev. That's where the Moshe's team should be. It used to be an Angaran town. There'll be landing pads and good sightlines for a safe approach. Anomaly on the sensors. Something big, possibly hostile, taking evasive action. Wait, I don't think his... What am I looking at? Manta rays? Wow. Well, that's something you don't see back home. How interesting. Bringing us in. You do that, Callow. That's your name, right? Callow? <laughs> 